Good evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Watching Invest 91L. It's poorly organized right now, but there is a distinct area of low pressure. It's a broad area of low pressure. You want things to tighten up for it to really significantly strengthen. I don't think that's going to happen, but I do think there is going to be a potential for a depression, as we were saying yesterday. It's about 260 miles to the south and east of the mouth of the Mississippi River. So you can see the showers and thunderstorms are just just not around the center of circulation at this point. So that's the good news. I don't think this is going to be a quick developer, but I do think there's going to be a depression as we head on in to say maybe Friday night and uh, making uh, it along uh, the coastline, mid Texas Gulf Coast, uh, probably on Saturday. Uh, the chances as we expected have gone up. 70 to 80 percent probability of 70 percent happening in the next uh, 48 hours and by five days it'll be on land but still probability is very high this is going to happen and become a depression now, there's the outside chance that this could become hannah before reaching the coast it looks like maybe around corpus to uh, possibly as far south as brownsville pretty far down the coastline so i don't think wind is going to be the biggest issue as we take a look at the ensemble modeling, we don't just look at one model. You want to look at numerous models. That way you can build a consensus. And you can see the average track of this would head it on in, say, between Corpus and maybe Brownsville as we head towards Saturday. So that's uh, pretty far down the coastline for us. So again, even if it becomes a tropical storm, I don't think wind impacts are going to be an issue. Here's what we are thinking. Uh, maybe some wind gusts, 20 possibly 25, and that'll be mainly for the triangle along the coastline. Little impacts up in the uh, lakes area. Rainfall, I think, is going to be the biggest issue. I think three to six inches, pretty good bet at this point with a moderate impact. Some surprises are possible in this site, a situation. Could see over six inches, but I think three to six is reasonable at this point. Coastal flooding, I think it'll be minor coastal flooding uh, across uh, coastal Jefferson and Chambers County uh, at this point. So that's what we're thinking as far as TD, or I should say Invest 91L, likely to become a depression as we head on into late Friday and into Saturday. However, we have Gonzalo, and Gonzalo likely to become a hurricane and move on in through the Caribbean. After about, uh, say, oh, Monday, things become a little murky. Some of the models dissipate this. Some of them keep it churning and heading towards the Gulf of Mexico. If it continues on this track, moving through the Caribbean, then it could reach the Gulf of Mexico around August the 3rd, then we'll certainly have to be watching that. Expect a busy hurricane season. Water temperatures well above normal and little shear out there all say this is going to be an active hurricane season. It also means we're going to see probably numerous long track storms coming in off of the uh, African coastline and doing exactly what Gonzalo do, does. So as we head towards uh, August and September, things certainly going to be heating up. We'll keep you on track here at 12 News.